Well, good morning. Hey, uh, man, I, I, I gotta be honest with you, I'm excited about today. Um, I am going to be doing the survival challenge today, uh, and I'll show you here just real briefly what's going on, uh, what I'm taking with me. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I'm doing finishing touches, getting ready to go to church, and uh, after church, I am going to head out with my kayak, and we're gonna go and uh, play around and uh, get lost literally uh, i've got an island uh, i'm going to be uh staying the night on um to test out some survival skills and and go from there uh, so it should be a pretty interesting time a lot of factors going into this one first off i'm not just getting back and going you know one of these deals where i've just come back and i'm, I'm videotaping this video as if it were the beginning uh, no i'm still anticipating on what's going to happen uh, I don't know what's going to happen, so this is going to be kind of, a, this is a new thing for me. So these are the things and the concerns that I have um, before I head out. Uh, first off, I am going to be completely alone. Uh, I, I not, I'm not bringing anybody with me. Uh, I'm not even bringing my trail pup Sadie with me. We are, I'm going to be completely alone. Uh, so, so everything that's going on out there will be literally on an island. Uh, with nobody around us <clears throat> and uh, that's what I'm anticipating anyways um, so let me give you a brief rundown of what I'm going to be taking just so that you know uh, where we're at I've got something going on in my eye so you have to excuse me real quick um, so let me flip around and show you some of the gear and I'll show you what, what, what we're intending here okay so here's uh, on top is a box of, um, of the gear I'm going to be taking with me I just want to kind of show you um, briefly what's going on so in this bag is going to be my phone stuff I'm bringing my phone with me because I want to take video footage so I'm gonna have a battery charger in here and a cable and then I got a couple books um, <clears throat> so while I'm out there I'm actually gonna be journaling in one of these little mini journals um, so I'm gonna take that with me with a pen I'm gonna have that in a bag just so that you guys gonna know what's going on with that um, got a new hat. I'm gonna be wearing it out there, so excited about that. Um, so, <clears throat> but other than that, here is the Nalgene bottle. Um, in a previous video, I went over everything that was in this Nalgene bottle. I said in this Nalgene bottle were two hand warmers, and given the fact that I am going to be out in 90 degree weather, I didn't need those hand warmers. So we were going to decide on what we needed to do in order to <clears throat> swap out those. So I wanted to swap out, I had like two or three hand warmers and I said, two things, I'll add two more things to it. And so by doing so, what I did was I went ahead and added a fire steel um, as a backup uh, because fire is very important out there um, for everything that we need. And I, I, we'll talk more about that when we get out there. Um, so I added a fire steel with it and I also went ahead and in this Eno bag is my water filter. Um, I'm going to bring my water filter kit with me as well. Um, let's face it, there's safety. You know, I want to be safe while I'm doing this um, project. And then more than likely, excuse me, I, just more than likely I'll probably bring that bottle with me um, to because that goes well with my water filter. Um, <clears throat> also bringing bug spray because I would typically bring bug spray on a kayaking trip anyways. And then just for you know just for the safety aspect of it and um, there is a safety kit in the bottle but i'm going to also bring my altoids uh safety kit <clears throat> to go with me that is pretty much it um i'm bringing a bag lunch <clears throat> because uh the intention is is that uh, we're going to emulate being out on the lake all day so i'm going to bring a lunch with me uh it would be my typical lunch stuff like uh a sandwich and, and a couple sodas and maybe chip um, maybe one soda and chip uh, so we'll we'll go with that and then of course my paddles and that's pretty much it that's all we're gonna be doing um, so that is the start of it I, I'm pretty excited about all of this with that being said um, you know I am uh, grateful that uh, I get to be doing this uh, I've needed it so uh, a couple factors that I said if we're gonna be going out I'm completely alone first off which means I'm gonna be completely alone in my head as well and and that's gonna be a struggle I haven't been out and done an overnighter in 
a little over a month now uh, a lot of a lot of issues you know that i still need to clean out of my head so so it's going to be an interesting time um <clears throat> thank you so much guys for coming along with me uh we are going to have a great time out there um and and i hope you guys enjoy it and get a lot out of it um i know it's going to be a learning experience for me oh um one other thing i wanted to mention i was going to bring excuse me i forgot about that light um this bottle is aluminum bottle um, i found this hmm, a couple years ago three years ago uh doing something i can't remember exactly what it was but i found it it is completely aluminum uh, so i'm going to take it out as a as a test uh, i want to see if i can boil water in it um, and so that's kind of what i'm going to look into doing uh, it'd be another way of doing water for pure water purification um if that is not the case then i'll do something else with it but that's my goal uh, with this um i've been looking at it the plastic has to come off as a problem so we'll see what happens um but uh, that's kind of where i'm looking at what i'm looking at doing so yeah um so off to church and then into the lake uh so next time you see me i will be paddling off to an unknown island all right guys i'll talk to you later Okay, I am out here. Let me get my finger out of the way here. I am out. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, but this place is busy. It's like it's big and all the big boats come. And I've actually been trying to find a good time to really just get get my camera out. Because, you know what? It's wavy. Hold on just a minute. Let me get this back off. Okay, so, anyways, like I said, I don't know if you can tell. This place is wavy. I mean, there's a lot of people out here. See behind me? This is actually part of the island. That I'm trying to get to. Um, it's windy out here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get some of these clouds coming in. There are some clouds coming in, which means we may have some weather tonight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I've been looking around this island already. I've, I've only gone about halfway around it, and right now it's just kind of I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I am up and down all over the place. I don't know if my camera is picking up the waves I'm doing here, but man, this is uh, ridiculous. Um, picking up some of the people that are by here <laughs> uh, there for a minute I did not have a chance big boats after big boat was coming by and wave after wave was coming by so get pushed a little bit in towards the island more than I wanted to there's some debris that I'm trying to avoid and everything else so I'm gonna go around the island a little bit more um, kind of get an idea of where where I might go uh, who knows this island may be in, impenetrable uh, right now it's not looking very helpful uh, so I might have to go find another spot, but uh, we'll find a spot tonight and uh, see what we can do, all right? All right, guys, I'll, uh, when I get somewhere where I'm going to go or when I make a decision, I'll let you know. So, some things I realized I don't relay to you guys, and I think I tried to, and I said I kept postponing this trip was because of safety. Um, and uh, and that, that still goes the same. Um, you know, there, there's a whole gamut of factors um, unfortunately uh, I don't live in an area that I can just you know go out and there's thousands of miles of nature and I don't come in contact with everybody so uh, the places I do go uh, have a tendency to be popular uh, every now and then and then go to the same here a lake called Caesars Creek uh, is extremely popular uh, especially this time of year and it's a Sunday and uh, but Along with popularity comes uh, certain human factors that I often don't like uh, taking my chances on as well. And uh, so the island looks great. Um, it's a neat looking island. Uh, looks like there's only maybe one passageway that could be potential. Um, I definitely want to film that island at some point in time. Now, will it be this year or next year? I don't know. Um, I know my friend and I are talking about trying to get back out at some point in time. Whether we go to there or we go backpacking, I don't know. But uh, that island would be kind of cool to do. There, um, there's a lot of neat open areas if I had if I had the equipment. Uh, it would be a fun area uh, to pull in and, and just open up uh, and just have fun with it. But um, like I said, there always factors uh, that I have to play into things and as of right now the, the factors of safety uh, is a key thing um, I, you know where I am what do I where I set things you know all that kind of stuff so 
I am back on land, well back on on the uh, mainland anyways, and uh, so I've decided to kind of hang around, I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. Um, if I do go somewhere, it'll probably be on the other side of the lake. Uh, this area seems to be pretty popular. Um, always have to be judging others' intentions um, as I do this. And uh, so, uh, I say that and I'm looking at a vehicle right now that helps me uh, make my decision as to whether or not I'm going to stay here. Um, one thing I do know uh, is that I am going to, I'm going to stay the night somewhere. So, <laughs> somewhere I'm going to have a night, I'm going to be out in the woods. Uh, that, that is one of the things I do know. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to post up yet. Um, but it will be out in the woods, whether or not I have to go somewhere else, um, just what, what will happen, we'll see. Um, but, uh, when I do find out what I'm going to do, I'll let you know. Um, and it will be using the same gear that I have. I'll use the same gear, I'll post up with that. Um, and we'll make something out of that. So, so when I, when I get something situated and I figure it out, uh, it'll be, it'll be there. I said there was a lot of anticipation going on this, but I did not know how it was going to portray. Um, unfortunately, um, the human factor of it is, is the biggest thing right now. Um, uh, to feel comfortable, I need to be completely alone. That's how it works. <laughs> um, to feel like I'm doing this, this justice for you all, I need to be completely alone as well. Um, so that I can take the abilities and, and do this um, for you guys. Uh, so I have to be comfortable. I have to be able to be comfortable with where I am and, and have the knowledge that, that uh, this will be okay. And then I can show you guys what's going on and what to do here. Uh, so it all kind of goes in the, into play with that. So. Um, let me go cruise around, see what we can find. Uh, I'll figure something out at some point in time and let you know. Alright? Okay. Okay, so. After much deliberation, I think I've found a spot that I'm going to camp out in. Now this is along the perimeter trail. And this is along a spot that I know that I'm allowed to camp. So it kind of makes it that way. And it makes... There's certain conveniences so um, unfortunately we are going to be in a situation where you know that's going to be part of an issue um, but I feel like this will be better so that I can come across and kind of show you what we're going to do uh, right now I just kind of walk down a trail there's a perimeter trail that goes down here I've actually packed this trail we stayed the night on it one time I haven't really I didn't videotape it um, I, uh, probably one of my early, early videos, I was not too far from here doing, uh, kind of a stealth camp, if you will. Um, but, uh, so what we're going to be doing, this is actually a group camp area, um, and I think it'd be pretty nice, um, just kind of to do it here. Um, but I have one drawback, and that's going to be material, uh, and being able to set up my shelter. Uh, so there is going to be we're gonna have to start looking at that aspect of it um, I'm gonna be looking at getting sticks and getting some things set up so that I can put up some kind of shelter um, I keep looking up and I see gray clouds so um, that rain may actually be a potential possibility tonight so I do want to make sure that I'm gonna get something where I'm gonna stay a little bit dry uh, for that um, my fire situation <laughs> well I'm gonna start a fire it's going to be in a fire pit, uh, but it's going to be in a man-made fire pit that's already been here, I think. Um, I don't want to create anything else here, and I don't want to create any problems with the, with the park as well. So, so I'm going to try to be um, as respectful to the park and, and as it has been to me, really. Oh, I'm getting really dark there. I must have had an interesting backlash on that. Um, but... Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so, like I said, this is a trail I just walked down. You can see the sign uh, for the for the hiking trail. 
Um, and then I'm going to show you, this is the shelter area. Um, so I'm gonna walk over um, to where I believe I'm gonna set up. I had two spots, one is really out of the way. I thought, man, it'd be great. Um, but one is closer to a fire pit. So I thought, man, it'd be nice to be closer to the fire pit just so I can sit and relax and watch the fire. Um, it's to each his own. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be burning a lot tonight. At least not that I'm aware of. But I'm going to be able to uh, have a fire and relax. I like watching it. So, um, And I just went into shadow land again. But I think this little cutout here is where I'm going to make home tonight. So I think I'll be able to do that. Um, get my finger out of the way here. I think I'll be able to do that. Uh, this has been a pretty busy day here at the park, so hopefully I'll be able to put together some things and I'm trying to wait. I don't want to bring too much towards myself when I do this. Um, already had some interesting characters kind of walk by and uh, it's kind of, I, I try to stay away. <laughs> but. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit more civilized than I would like, but I think we'll get a point across here and do something with this. Um, one of the things I'm seeing a lot of in here is, is if I get too close to the wood edge, there's a uh, poison ivy. And so obviously I'm going to try to stay away from the poison ivy, at least from the laying down in it aspect. Uh, but I think I'm going to utilize this railroad tie here. Um, let's see if I can get that in the shot here. I utilize that railroad tie, um, that's some back support, and now we'll just kind of see what, from, what we're going to do from there. Um, so let me get my stuff out um, and pull it aside. I'm going to go back here and look at this uh, other area again real quick just to kind of see if that wouldn't be something I would be more interested in. Um, and then we'll decide on the fire, what we'll do with that. But um, I'm going to go back here and look at it for a little bit and then I'll come back and and we'll decide okay okay so we are stuck we're lost and we here are all the contents that were in my kayak so you see I brought out my uh, life preserver I always make sure safety is first I have actually been thinking a lot about this one and it looks like it's going to be the pillow for the night. So we have my packed lunch and I'll show you what's in my packed lunch in a minute, which is basically a six inch sub, some chips and a soda and some water. Now I totally rendered my, um, my water filter useless by not staying out on the island, but that, uh, that, is, that is what it is. Um, I brought this aluminum canteen or aluminum bottle water bottle um, I'm gonna do some further investigation on it but I believe it may not be good to boil water in because there's a plastic ring around it uh, we'll look at that a little bit further on in the night and then of course my charging stuff uh, for camera I've got a notebook in there to write um, and then my now jean safety kit I'm gonna break that up in here in just a second and uh, and Again, showing showing the contents of that um, and then once we've done that um, I'll start kind of setting things up I'm hoping I can find a spot I can put my camera and really be able to to set uh, so I can show you guys what I'm gonna do so uh, we'll see what happens with that all right <laughs> all right so uh, not only am I having to do everything like this for the survival, but apparently I am doing this with a tripod uh, issue as well. Um, last trip I took, I broke the tripod, so now I'm having to uh, come up with new and, and uh, innovative ways to make tripods for this. So I'm hoping that uh, this works. I've got a stick stuck on this, and, and it's working. And, and pointing, I'm pointing it in kind of the right direction. I'm not really sure um, what I'm going to do with it yet. But uh, I think this tree right here, I am going to utilize that as a, a string up point um, to be able to do some work. I've, I've actually found a couple good sticks that will help with 
to my shelter. Um, just depending on how I'm going to be able to string up my shelter is really going to be key. Uh, so we're going to see what happens with that um, and then kind of go from there. So let's see what happens. Um, what I'm about to do now is I'm actually going to pull that off of my tripod and open up my canteen or my analogy and pull out all the stuff and we'll get it all put together and then I'll start looking into putting this up. Um, I'm a little closer to the road than I would like to be so more than likely I'll get some weird looks but I mean look at me I'm wearing a goofy hat which is my new hat I hope you all like it um, and I'm wearing this get up so I get some goofy looks that's for sure <laughs> so um, that's what we're gonna do um, and then we'll go from there. All right, let me uh, get you over here. Okay, so um, to review, we'll, we'll kind of go over the contents again. Like I said, I have a more in-depth video of them all uh, when uh, I did a video early on about this. So um, here we have a really quick uh, first aid kit. Um, just, just got bandages and stuff like that. I also brought my now or my Altoids can first aid kit that I made which has a little bit more than just that but it's pretty much the same as that um, we have paper remember nothing's going to come out or we're going to use all at all um, so we have paper I just saw officer I had to talk to him um, which I'm going to use actually when I get ready to start my fire so that will be a plus um, and then we'll go from there um, um, hoping that that guy didn't come back um, so then we have the little uh, multi-tool. Um, I am going to be having to use this uh, for cutting some. I, I don't really see the need to use it a lot. Uh, any sticks and things I'm going to cut will be broken and such things like that. Um, I'm also got a little flashlight which I'll be using. Um, and I'll, be, I'll put the batteries here in just a minute. Um, there are two different types of fire starters. I've got uh, my fire steel, which is uh, one I've used. I use this uh, on all my trips, pretty much. And then I've got this little thing. Um, I kind of thought it was weird until I saw something where they were using something similar. Um, so I may have to give it a try. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, actually, I am going to give it a try. I want to experience uh, a new new thing here, so I've got that. I have a whistle that has a compass and it actually you can open it up and has a little container in there too um, with cordage and I am actually going to probably be using that cordage. Um, I'm going to use that cordage to tie up my uh, shelter I think. Uh, so we will see what happens with that uh, but that is my plan so uh, I'm, I'm hoping I can get something out of that. I um, also have a candle, um, which I think I'll probably use just as an ambiance, <laughs> um, just to kind of do that. And then I have a reflective blanket, emergency survival blanket. Not really sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, the problem with this thing is it's so loud and rattly. I really don't know that it's going to benefit me any. So I don't know that I'm going to necessarily use this um, for anything. Uh, but we'll see um, and then we have a poncho and uh, the poncho I plan on using this as a shelter so I plan on stringing this up as wide as it can go and using it as a shelter uh, we'll see uh, like I said this is uh, we'll just kind of see how everything transpires and what happens from here uh, but there is my list uh, I also have a bottle the Nalgene bottle that it all came in um, and that actually has a um, carabiner clip right now I've got it all in here but it's got a carabiner clip so we'll make sure that we get it all squared away okay um, hopefully I'll get, get set back up and we'll uh, start trying to set things up um, I'm also running into a problem where like I said I, I just don't want to draw attention to myself here so um, a big yellow thing strung up in the trees might draw attention to myself so I may have to see what I can do about that and go from there uh, we'll, we'll see what happens I think I saw um, a warrant, a warrant officer, it's not a warrant officer, it's a, uh, natural resources officer go by. I may reach out to him real quick and, and talk to him about, um, you know, staying here overnight. 
Um, so we'll see what happens with when I get done talking to him. Okay, so I found that the newest challenge is trying to do this when nobody comes through, parks through, or anything, so that I don't look like I'm going like crazy. Um, and you know, it's like, oh, you're videotaping something? No! So, uh, that's gonna be my challenge. Uh, uh, like I said, it's gonna come time. It's probably like, yeah, close to five, I think. Um, I just keep seeing someone who's gonna be hiking through in a minute, so I'm gonna have to pause, but I'm getting a kind of a rough estimate. I, I've decided to kind of go with a different type of shelter, and I've decided to framework it like that. So, that's what I'm gonna be looking at doing right now. Um, I'm gonna bring that up a little bit, and then I'm gonna put my, my poncho on top of it. And we'll go from there um, and just kind of see what's going to happen. The sun's going to come back out, burn me up a little bit. So, um, but that's where the goal lies. Uh, so, we'll see what happens. Like I said, uh, just got to make sure that I don't look like a creeper and <laughs> make sure that I'm uh, just doing this for entertainment and not, uh, sorry, not for uh, anything else other than that. So, um, and then I've got to watch out for the creeper. So, that kind of brings out the yellow another scenario but all right so i'm gonna continue on with that someone's coming by so i don't want to be too crazy um i'll talk to you in a minute <laughs> so there you go i had to rearrange my new tripod basically so <laughs> and uh it helps that everybody's out of earshot um so i took the cordage off of the emergency whistle and i tied a little loop knot on the end of that. Um, so what I'm going to do is tie my framework of my shelter um, to the joint here where it's all come together. I'm going to tie it up uh, using as little thing as I possibly can. Uh, so that I can try to use some more of it if I need to. Um, and then go from there. Um, I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping the sound turns out okay on this. Uh, I'm trying to be softer spoken because there are eyes in the woods <laughs> there are eyes in the hills which always kind of makes me nervous uh, it's going to be interesting um, I am literally going to try to complete a full evening but um, people other other people will be picked <laughs> people determine that um, we'll see what happens <laughs> I don't know um if nothing else, the adventure in itself is this whole process. So, but um, so I'm gonna try to be soft, but so you guys can hear too. Guess I'm gonna need to get a microphone at some point in time. Huh? <laughs> so I get bigger business on this, and then we'll, we'll talk about next time. <laughs> Others start watching this more. We'll, we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna try to find a way to tie this off.
Get a minute. We'll have a, a moment where I, I'm kind of going over you know, the survival situation and, and what it would look like um, from that standpoint. But uh, so we get to try out the knife, which I got to be honest with you, does not look very sharp. Spring isn't very strong either, right? <laughs> so they were cut it. Uh, yeah, the knife is uh, definitely, definitely not that great. <laughs> but hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. And so far, we've been doing all right. So um, get you an idea what we're gonna do. So now I'm gonna go back here and tie this one off. Hopefully, it'll work out just like the plan.
issue probably that I'm gonna have to suffer with here a little bit let me uh, bring it in here real close and I'm gonna give it a break here um, but yeah so so basically I tied off two braces to make it level make it so that I can do this so if I can do this real quick <clears throat> My tent be kind of like this, um, and I'll have plenty of room. So it should actually, as I lay down and I feel for it, it actually looks really good um, and feels really good. So hopefully, once I get the the wrapper on it, we'll say uh, it'll look good and and be uh, what I planned on it to be. I'm still gonna have problems with that back end though, uh, so I'll probably have to do some working with it. So I'm gonna give this a break, um, and when I come back, hopefully I'll have some some back end stuff on it. Okay. Okay. Um, let's uh, give you a quick shot of what we got going on here, and uh, then we gonna gonna go. This is very, <laughs> very, very rough, but in a situation this could be useful so let me flip over here and show you there she is that's my shelter for the night um, basically what I did was I took a poncho and it was connected so I tore it all in half to get as much of it as I could I noticed that there were some ribbon sides on it so what I did was I went ahead and peeled those ribbons off and got used utilized those as tie downs as well so you see there I tied down there here I used a uh, a stick to use as a stake but then I used some logs that I found around me to brace down everything else um, so really my my interests didn't entrances didn't come the way I wanted them to uh, as a matter of fact I really was trying to get that stick to turn around the other way I may still work on that um, but if you are needing something to get out of the rain in um, you know we climb in here and you're out of the rain now I have this thing, I will um, probably tie it up and out there, and that way it'll hold hold out too. It would hold out the rain if it needed to be. Um, so, but yeah, this is pretty rudimentary, very, uh, very much not not professional by any means. But when you're in a situation, this is the way to go. This is uh, typically what ends up happening. Um, so I've got my three sticks tied together and everything so um, this is where I will be calling home tonight and I'll start putting some things in that will help me with that um, let me uh, switch back over here so um, with that being said I may still break out that emergency blanket it depends um, on the way I feel in the evening um, and what I was thinking about using it for just as a ground mat uh, to kind of keep me uh, off the ground um, and bugs and stuff so 
I have bug spray actually, um, but uh, I just want to kind of look at that and do that. Um, like I said, this place gets weirder and weirder every time I turn around, so um, I've just been kind of keeping an eye out to see what things are going on. Uh, it is around 6:45 or so, um, and it's um, it's hot. Uh, it's probably about 85, 90 degrees somewhere around there. Um, so I'm gonna probably chill out for a minute, have uh, have a drink of water, um, and probably dig into my lunch that I brought, um, and uh, and just kind of chill. Um, I've still got probably three hours of daylight left, um, two maybe. So when it starts getting dusk and I start feeling comfortable about, you know, there's not going to be any weirdos um, walking by, um, what I will do probably then is just start uh, just kind of laying out some other things. And I might go out there and I might start a fire out there just to relax um, and have something to relax on and just chill out for the evening um, at this point. Um, so there won't be much more in the line. The biggest thing is shelter. Oops, I got sun in the way. Sun is still coming out and going. The biggest thing is shelter. Uh, and so I got that out of the way. Um, it's gonna be weird. Um, I'm pretty sure people are gonna laugh when they see this. Oops, I am trying. Apparently not doing a very good job. Okay, when they see this and, and how it works. Uh, but, you know, like I said, we'll, we'll discuss more on the survival situation when I can speak a little bit more freely. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll talk about, you know, what we would need. So, uh, and I'm just a beginner. I'm not, by the way, I am not a trained expert on this. <laughs> I'm out here because I want to learn. And so I want to do, uh, I, I got to learn by doing and this is how it's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, relax for a little bit and then and see where the evening takes All right okay now so I did tell you that this is a park so um, <clears throat> and I am legally camping where I'm allowed to so that's the plus and that's why hence the fire pit uh, which is where I'll have a fire here later on tonight but I was just happening to look, I mean, I'm looking at my shelter now, and really, I mean, you couldn't have asked for a really better way of dealing with this. I'm going to try to get some shade here. But if you look up there, there's white pine that's covering it. So really, that's a shelter all of itself. Um, and then I'm just adding a piece of plastic to kind of keep any of the residual off. Uh, really, kind of a neat area. Of course, I love being around pine trees. Um, so um, it's really just kind of a pretty uh, little area if I had... A little bit more of my normal stuff that I carry with me backpacking. I could have really made a nice setup here, um, but it was. It's gonna be. Should be a nice night. Um, clouds all kind of dissipated, so we are looking right now at blue sky. Uh, right now, I do not have any worry about rain. Um, I've looked at the. I've looked at the uh, weather a couple times before I came out and really didn't, never had any concern of rain so that was kind of part of the reason why i came out here uh but uh yeah so we should be doing pretty good um i might touch base here in uh in a few minutes to kind of give you an overall uh view of what i think of this uh, survival kit uh and then also um probably be right about time i start fire and just have time to relax so um it's kind of what the rest of the evening is going to be like i'm um, just going to kind of relax uh, i'll try out some of the other illumination products uh, as soon as uh, it gets dark but other than that i'm gonna roam around and kind of see things uh, while i'm here uh, and enjoy okay got uh got a fire going i don't know if you can hear the roaring in the background but i'm pretty sure that's a boat <laughs> so some folks are all heading in. It's, it's gotten really quiet, and I'm gonna try, try, try. I got smoke right behind the smoke is a bat, and I'm trying to get him. Oh, I think I got him right there. If you can see a little black speck flying through the air, that is a bat. Um, there's gonna be a few of them. I think I've already seen a few of them pop up, um, but. Uh, Right around this time, they start popping out of the woods. It's just kind of cool. Always fun to watch them. 
Um, took me a little struggle to get to the, the fire uh, going, but uh, I'm, I've got it going. I'm not going to burn a lot, but I'm going to at least sit here and have a little fire and, and relax a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I try to sneak out and do these things, and, and sometimes the world gets catches up with you and tries to bring you down, but not, not tonight. We're going to have a beautiful open sky, the bats flying around, I see a star already popping out. Uh, it's going to be a pretty night. Um, so, let me, uh, I'm going to switch around and bring this on me now. So, oh, got my hand in the way, as usual. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to just take a, a brief moment before it got too, too dark. Um, the way it looks now, it looks like it's pretty light, but oh man, that bat got me got pretty close. <laughs> um, uh, as you can tell, I am not, um, not afraid of them, so... Uh, it's always always a good time uh, but uh, uh, anyways um, so I'm trying to do this while people are sending me messages and ruining my night <laughs> what I really wanted to kind of do uh, tonight was uh, give a brief just talk um, thinking about the, the situation that I'm in uh, you know in here uh, and go back here to where where my site is and just thinking you know, really, the the key the key to the survival situation that um, is very important, I think, is is just the panic aspect. You know, when you get lost, of course, you go panic, and there's always panic, and that's why it's always good to know and learn things and be prepared. Um, not you don't have to have all sorts of crazy things um and you don't have to have a huge survival kit which is what was proven here um and even even what i did here is really kind of makeshift i really didn't even need all that um typically in a situation from what i've learned and, and just from uh, what i've seen is really location uh, just finding a good spot just to kind of hunker down and you can kind of build off of that um, if there's rain, yeah, you want to try to find something that's going to deflect the rain, and so that was where that was kind of that came about. Excuse me, I had a twitch. But <clears throat> um, just kind of thinking, just the aspect of being calm, um, it is extremely hard to do. Um, as, as the night draws on, there will be something that will kind of get my nerves shaken, and uh, and so that uh, that's what happens, uh, and so. I'm looking at around and you know, I, I could be freaked out because I see, oh my goodness, like six, seven, eight bats now, which is really cool. Um, and you know, but it, it's not, not that big of a deal. Um, they're gonna be out here helping with the bug population. Uh, so what I, uh, I'm planning on doing is just kind of relaxing. Um, this is my time to really reconnect. Um, I've been out of it for a while. Kind of share with you guys a little bit, be a little bit transparent. Just uh, my my head hasn't been in it um, at all, um, and so reality of it was was when I came out here and I was, was looking at the site and said, you know, that's not gonna work out. I, I almost went back home and said, you know what, I just want to go back home and, and go back um, and, and get back to my bed. But you know, uh, um, no, uh, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I need to get out and I needed this time to be alone I needed this time to reconnect um, I I've been really pushing away from a lot of things um, my relationships with my family and my the, the friends that I have I you know I've been not very good at, at staying with that and most importantly my relationship with God and it's been you know, been faltering all of my own, all my fault. Um, I've been frustrated with the way things are going and the way things are turned out. And, uh, you know, and as I did this trip and as I've been sitting here thinking about it all, I, I began really kind of looking at this from the standpoint of, you know, I'm in a dire survival situation. And the one thing I need to do is not panic. And I've been panicking. And, uh, and so once I got all of that out of the way, um, then I was able to really start thinking, you know, my shelter is God. 
He is the one true shelter that I have that I know that I can turn to no matter what. No matter what I've even done, uh, I can go back to him. And so that's what my time has been about. It's been about just sitting here, reflecting on God, and thanking him for being the shelter and, and admitting to him that I've screwed up and it's been on my end. And you have uh, remained doing you've been doing what you've always promised you would do and this has been here never letting go of me and and, uh, and it's been quite an amazing time to do that and uh, you know it, part of what I do is not only to hopefully excite you all uh, about getting out and doing this but also it's just a time to to you know let you guys know that there's still hope um, there's still the ability god has not given up on you when he uh calls us all he calls us all and and it, it's really on our end to to say you know what you're right god um uh, i messed up and i need your help and you know what he's faithful and he will um he helps he um i you know in the situation i'm in and uh, unemployed and, and just really kind of wondering you know what's going on why can't i get something a little bit more permanent in the job front you know, I, I still turn back and I say, you know, God, you're in control. So there's something that you want me out of, want to get out of this for me. So, um, God, I just uh, always, always ask, you know, hey, if there's something you need, if there's something that you want me to pray for you about, or if there's something that you really want to uh, connect on, let me know. I'd love to, to share with you uh, more. Um, and then I would also love to... Uh, have the opportunity to introduce you to to Jesus and to this Jesus who has saved me and who has um, turned my life around from from many uh, things a part of uh, addiction and everything else you know he, he's totally been the reason why I'm still alive um, there's just no doubt about it I should have been dead a long time ago uh, but through the grace of God here I am and I'm able to share with you guys and uh, enjoy these moments. Um, I'm gonna put some more wood on the fire here if I can find a good piece to do that with. So excuse me, be quite honest with you, I'm gonna fire tonight. It took me a little bit, but I got it. And it's gonna, and people were nice enough to leave wood around, so I'll well use it. Um, also, the bugs have decided they like me. So I might go get some spray and spray on a spray that on me here in a minute. But guys, yeah, thank you uh, so much for watching. Um, we'll start watching uh, people slide away here as we've been playing around the park a little too long. But um, thank you for watching this. Uh, if you want to know more about me, uh, always hit me up through uh, the comments. But uh, you want to continue to follow me? Uh, I highly would, uh, would really love it. Um, it's not because of the money, because I don't do this for money. Um, I, I haven't gotten that big yet, but uh, it, it's just primarily because I, I love to know that people are listening. I love to know that people are watching this, um, and it helps me, uh, helps me, and, I, and, and encourages me. Uh, but I also that kind of sounds selfish, I know, but but I also I uh, would love the the fact that you know to hear from you as far as how has this encouraged you to move on and do. Uh, what God has asked you to do in your life. So um, feel free to hit the like button. Uh, go to my Facebook account uh, at Kingdom Adventures and uh, go in, comment. Uh, you can send me emails through that or you can send me messages through that as well. Uh, look me up. Uh, be, I'd love to uh, get in contact with you guys and, and just be able to share with you all just about everything, uh, everything on this. So um, just, yeah, uh, if you have time, look me up. Um, but uh, more than likely it'll be the last I, I see for tonight um, and then we'll just kind of see how the night goes and then uh, once the fire goes out and I get a little bit relaxed I'll climb in and see uh, see if I can't close my eyes a little bit and see what happens all right uh, you guys have a great evening well hey guys uh, wow um, what an interesting trip uh, we had uh, on this one um, uh, it was cool um, it was different it definitely stretched me a lot um, I actually came back a little bit earlier um, it hadn't quite gotten light out yet so I kind of give you a little 
little uh, confession on that, if you will. Um, but, you know, it, it was neat. I was able to learn a lot out of that. Um, there was certainly things that I had to look at in a different way. Um, and I got more out of it than you would think. Um, me, uh, I was actually kind of in a mental state at the time. And so it really helped clear my head a little bit too. Uh, but I had fun. Uh, things I would have done differently uh, would have been probably in the right setting. I would have probably used that reflective blanket as the shelter and created a lean-to. Um, I could have actually done the lean-to with that poncho as well, but I decided to uh, do the tent look uh, that I did. Um, and it would have worked just fine uh, for the purpose. Uh, fortunately, we were completely dry. Stars were beautiful last night, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, I actually did end up laying the reflective blanket down as a ground cover and laid on it and it actually worked out very well. Um, and uh, I did get some sleep last night. Um, I dozed off several times. I think I slept for um, shifts of an hour or so. So there was sleep involved. I, I definitely uh, was able to do that. Um, actually used the life vest as my pillow, which worked out real well as well. Um, but uh, to kind of give you a show of what I actually kept, um, I actually threw away just about everything uh, that came in that the thing, or came in the survival kit, uh, with the exception, of course, of the Nalgene bottle, which I'm sure I'll use again. Um, probably my favorite piece of equipment that came out of that was the flashlight. This worked great. Uh, <laughs> oddly enough, and I will use this again. I will probably, just because of how it is, I can stick it in a pencil holder kind of thing. I'll probably stick it in my pack and it will stay there. It worked very well. I enjoyed using this. Um, I used it when I was doing some writing last night. I actually wrote in my journal. Um, I will actually probably transition my small mini first aid kit into this pouch. Uh, so I'm probably going to go ahead and start using this um, alongside with the Altoid can whenever I need it. But little pouch is kind of neat so I'll probably start doing that um, this little multi-tool was absolutely worthless um, it's it's cheap it's junk uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and throw it away cuz I've got a couple other little ones like this and I don't need it um, I put that little fire striker in here that came with the kit junk uh, I it, it was basically it had a cigarette lighter flint in it and I wasn't able to get enough spark to even try to start a fire. Um, I would have had to have some other type of combustible liquid with me. Uh, so uh, basically I wouldn't need gasoline for that spark to even catch. So uh, I there's no need in keeping it. I think I've got it in that little first aid pouch, but it was no need keeping it. Other than that, I pretty much pitched everything else. Um, so the whistle and, and the compass thing is, is junk, but I end up using the cordage off of that to uh, tie up my, my tarp or my shelter. So that worked out fairly well. Um, other than that, that was pretty much the extent of it. So those are the only things I'm keeping out of that kit. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it was a great time. Um, excuse me, I'm actually going to look in getting another tripod for my um, from my phone so that I won't be sitting here holding it like I am now uh, but the uh, really I mean the, the highlights of the, the trip were really just being able to get out and, and be outside again uh, I was uh, definitely needing that it had been quite a while since I've been out so I definitely needed that I'm trying going to try not to wait so long on the next trip um, I'm getting my pack replaced. I don't know if I told you guys I got a brand new pack, but it had a busted buckle, so I'm going to get it replaced. I hopefully should have that by Friday. Uh, and when I get that, or by the end of the week, when I get that, I am going to be planning uh, another trip where I'm packing. So, um, it, fall is right around the corner, so it won't be long before pack. I'm going to start looking at doing some big packing trips, so um, stay tuned for that. Uh, and I'll definitely have to get the kayak out a few more times before the season's up, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, you guys take care. Uh, once again, feel free to like, 
uh, and subscribe to my Facebook channel. Feel free to jump on Kingdom Adventures um, and try to post some other things, some other gear stuff that I have um, that I just bought here recently. I'm going to try to post on there as soon as I can um, and then go from there. Okay, guys? Uh, seriously, thank you so much. I uh, love you guys, and uh, may God bless you all. Thank you.